In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this colorful wavy um, line effect um, like this or like this. Um, so go ahead and open up a new image and I'd recommend making the image size slightly larger um, than your planned image size. So go ahead and open up a new image and go to Filters, Render, Cloud, Solid Noise. The settings for this don't matter all too much because this is just simply giving us a base for our image. Um, I'm going to go with a um, detail of 1 um, and my X size is 4.6 and my Y size is 3.4. Now go to Filters, Blur, or actually go to Filters, Noise, HSV Noise. And just drag Holdness all the way up to 8 and uh, Hue all the way to Z um, all the way down to zero, saturation zero, value 255. Then select OK. And what you need to do is go to filters, blur, motion blur. And uh, make sure your blur type is on linear. Uh, and for blur parameters, make sure your length, um, you can always increase or decrease your length. This will, um, I guess it kind of depends on the size of your image, not um, but you can always adjust this however you want. But I'm going to keep my angle on 90. You can adjust this, but I'm going to keep mine on 90. If you have your angle on 90, it will have your lines going straight up and down. Then go to Filters, Edge Detect, Edge. And make sure um, I have my algorithm on Sobel and my amount on 4. And Smear checked. Now um, grab your Crop Tool, which you can get by pressing Shift-C or just by locating it in your, uh, la in, in your toolbox. And what we're going to be doing is cropping out this part of the image where if you see at the bottom, it kind of has that white particle looking stuff at the bottom. So I'm just going to crop that part out because when I motion blur this again, it won't look very good. So to crop this part out, just click and drag this rectangle over um, the part of your image that you want to keep and then just click um, in that area and it should crop out that part. Now go to filters, blur, motion blur. And I'm just going to keep the same settings as before. And now what you want to do is create a new layer. You can do this by going to Layer, New Layer, or just by pressing the New Layer icon in your Layer dialog. Now go to Filters, Render, Cloud, Solid Noise again. Except this time I'm going to set my X size to about 10.5 and my Y size to about 7. And actually, I'm going to lower my X size to about 6.8. Then go to Colors, uh, Brightness and Contrast. And I'm going to turn up the contrast all the way to about 80. And that's pretty good. Then set this layer mode onto Overlay. Now create another new layer. And grab your paintbrush tool and grab a pretty fuzzy brush. And I'm just going to start painting around with some random colors. I'm um, going with this yellow color. And once you're done painting in your colors, go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I'm going to go with a blur radius of 80. Then go to your Layer Scilog and under Mode, click that drop down menu and select Overlay. And um, our effect is now done and it should look something like this. Um, and if you still want your uh, colors to blend a little more, you can grab your smudge tool, which you get can get by pressing S, or just by finding it in your toolbox, and just kind of smudge the colors together. And there you go, you have your nice uh, wavy line effect.